This is a web design tutorial in 30 seconds or so, and it's brought to you by tutvid.com. Let's talk about file organization and web design. When you're beginning a new web design project, it is incredibly important to have good file organization so you know where everything is and you can ensure that none of your links get broken. And of course, when the file is ready to go to the web, everything can be uploaded at once. So here's exactly how I begin virtually every web project I start. I create a new folder and I'm just going to create this one here on my desktop and I name the folder after my client. Let's say I'm doing the work for myself. I'll call it tutvid. Now within this tutvid folder, I create two folders. I create one folder called images. Uh, and I create another folder called style. And within the style folder, that's usually where I'll drag like JavaScript files, I'll drag you know fonts and things like that that I'm using, I'll drag CSS files, all of that kind of stuff. Now, this folder, this Tutvid folder, let's say I'm creating a website in Dreamweaver, this would be my local root folder. Everything that that the web everything that the website will contain, all the images, all the HTML files, all the CSS files, any kind of you know additional PHP or JavaScript or videos. Everything is going to live in this client folder. That way, none of my links get broken. And at the end of the day, I can upload all of the files right from this folder that I need to my server, where it then can be viewed online on the web. That is exactly how I begin all of my web projects. And I recommend, uh, because of the nature of web design, that you have some kind of folder and file naming uh, discipline that you stick to when you begin new projects. It's really going to save you a lot of time and frustration later on down the road. That's it for this one. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.